What's going on, everyone? Uh, to begin, today is March 3rd, going into day 23 of the carnivore diet. Uh, big news, uh, really excited about this. I put in a special request in my local library to get a copy of this book. It's called The Fat of the Land. It was written by uh, Dr. Stephenson. He, I mean, it's actually incredible. So this man, just a, cre a quick brief summary. He lived with the Eskimos in 1913. And during his exploration, there's an interview that he did where while he was living with them for four months, none of his supplies came in. So literally when living with Eskimos, all he lived off of was water, fish, and the blubber from polar bears. And at the end of those four months, he said that it was the healthiest he'd ever felt and the best feeling he ever had in his entire life. And for the past six years after that, he spent the rest of his life living off of red meat only and pretty much died fighting, trying to prove the fact that humans can live off of meat alone. The Eskimos proved it to him. Um, I'm really excited to read this because it's a lot of good research, and it's back from 1913. This man wanted, like, st stumbled upon this pretty much. You know, it's like he found out that people don't need carbs. It's something that we made up. We, you know, when we started farming, which is great, but it's like anything. I started thinking, really thinking about this, about the whole system of where we're at now. It's great to an extent. So if you think about like where we're at now, you think about the invention of fire. It's brought us warmth. It's helped us cook food. It's brought light to the darkness. It's you know sparked the human spirit and combustible engines, so on and so forth. But on the opposite end of the coin, it ravages countries and destroys nations. It burns homes and families. I mean it cremates bodies. I mean it literally destroys. And we have to have both sides with that. You know, it's both sides of the coin. You kind of take what you get. Obviously, with the creation of farming, we were able to feed more people and we were able to thrive and survive. But on the other side, we started getting lazy. We started coming up with cheap products like potato chips and whole grain wheat bars and all of these boxes of cereal. And we just started, you know, accumulating all of this stuff. And I think a big thing especially for me, and I think why a lot of people are coming to the carnivore diet is the simplification of your life after that. You know, it's it's easy. You just go to the meat and water. You're done. You don't have to worry about, you know, like counting on your macros and all your calories and making sure you have enough of this or enough of that and then taking all these supplements on top of that and then taking all your B12. It's It's too much. And I think that's why a lot of people are coming back to this because it's – the simplest thing. I don't know. That's my idea of what I was thinking about today. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, my butcher box doesn't came in yet. Quick update. It has not come in yet. The minute it does, I'm going to do a video about that. Lay out everything that I got. I'm really excited. I got like 10 pounds of ground beef coming in, so I'm really excited about that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my next cooking video. Um, if anybody enjoyed my mom being in it, she's not going to be here. She's going to be... Uh, helping uh, one of my sisters go through a uh, situation that she has going on personally. And somebody commented saying to do a workout video. And I think I'm going to try to figure out how to do that tomorrow and probably this Saturday, maybe upload that. Um, just a quick insight. Also, um, I know Sean Baker, Sean Baker. Yeah, no, Sean Baker. Yeah, I'm right. Sorry. Sean Baker is starting to do CrossFit now, 53 years old. And that kind of inspired me because I used to do CrossFit uh, when I was in the service, and then a little while while I was out, I actually did like a, a three month like transformation. I, I mean, it's for people that do CrossFit, they get it. I mean, it's a nice workout. You can take it at your own pace, or you can really challenge yourself, especially if you get into the right box. So I'm I'm gonna go sign up. I'm gonna go back into CrossFit classes and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a short video. I'm gonna get into this book, and I'll give some more updates tomorrow in the next cooking video. But till the next one, guys, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> See ya.